Alright, so in this video, we're going to pick up where we left off in the last one. In the last video, we were doing little things like small methods like slide up, slide down, toggle, little jQuery library methods. So let's take a look. Uh, right here, if we refresh our page, uh, you'll see that right now we have the panel one element selected and we're doing slide up over one second. So that's pretty cool. But what if you wanted to add a little bit more functionality? So instead of it just sliding up on its own, we could do something to where, uh, hang on, let me fix this. We could do something to where if we click on one of these buttons, then these panels would slide. Let's figure out how to do that. So the first thing that you want to do is within your function, you have your jQuery dollar sign right here. You want to hit the ID that you're looking for. So right here, for button one, the ID is BTN1. So let's go back down here. And let's go um, ID BTN1. Instead of having it slide up, what we want to do is use the jQuery method on. And then we want to listen, and this is a JavaScript event listener. Let's go click. So on click, and then we'll write a function. And then within that, we'll go, okay. So when the button one is clicked, we want to, we'll add our jQuery dollar sign, then we'll find that panel, panel one. We want that to uh, toggle. Let's do slide toggle. We want it to slide toggle over one second, 1,000 milliseconds, okay? So what we have right now is if we click button one on click, it will run this function, and that function is for panel one to slide toggle over one second. So let's refresh our page. Okay, here's BTN1. And I didn't put the hash symbol for the ID right here. Refresh, and you'll see it toggles each time that you click it. And you can link up all of these panels with all those buttons. Let's do that real quick. So let's just copy this, paste it a couple times, three, four, and then real quick, that'll be two, that'll be three, and that'll be four. What I'm doing is just switching the IDs. We refresh this, now click, 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 make them all go away, make them all come back. That's pretty cool. And you could do it not just with slide toggle, obviously you could do it with uh, fade in, fade out, so fade toggle over a second. Let's do that for the third button. Oh, I didn't refresh the page. So the third button's fading out, the rest are sliding. Fade in, fade out. So that's pretty cool. So instead of just having click events, we can also have um, mouse over. That's another event. So that's basically just if your mouse goes over it, I don't have to click it. I just have to put my mouse over it. So let's do that for all of these real quick. Mouse over. Refresh, and as your mouse goes over it, they're going to slide, come back as they go. That's pretty cool. Um, what else can we do here? Let's say that we wanted to, instead of just toggle or mouse over or something like that, let's say that we wanted to change the HTML within a given element. So we can use the .html, and then in here we can just write, in parentheses, we can just write strong, uh, new HTML, close that off. And what you'll see is that when we do it, 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 we didn't really want to change everything. We just wanted to change the content. So how would you target this content and not the entirety of the HTML? Well, right here where we're just targeting panel four, we could also go, if we go up to panel four, panel four, class, panel, panel primary, we have a panel heading and a panel body. So what we want to change is panel body. So right here we can just go dot panel body. Save it, reload it, and then here 
instead of doing a mouse over, let's do it on click. Okay, so when we click button four, right here, this should change. New HTML. Cool, it changed. And um, so that's basically the gist of event listeners and things like that. Um, you don't want to do it this way. I was just showing it, but in the next coming lessons, I'm going to show you an easier way to write all this code to where you're not having to repeat yourself a whole lot. But this is the very beginnings of it. So practice with this. Move forward. We'll keep getting into more complicated stuff. Cool.